A separately excited DC motor has an armature resistance Ra is equal to 0.05 ohms. The field excitation is kept constant. At an armature voltage of 100 volt, the motor produces a torque of 500 Newton meter at zero speed. Neglecting all mechanical losses, the no load speed of the motor in radian per second for an armature voltage of 150 volt is dash. So we will see how to solve this. This is a separately excited DC motor. So we are going to first draw the circuit. This is the field winding. Since it is a motor, it will be taking the current. So the supply current will be same as the armature current because it is separately excited. Now what is all the information that is given? The resistance Ra is given as 0 0.05 ohm. Now the field excitation is kept constant means that the flux phi is constant and armature voltage when it is 100 volt you can take it as case 1. When armature voltage is 100 volt then the torque produced is given as 500 Newton meter and what is the speed that is given? The speed is 0. Okay. Now next what do we want? In case 2, okay, we have to neglect all the mechanical losses. So we need to find out the no load speed when armature voltage is 150 volt. So we will take this as Vs1 T1 omega 1. Then what will be Vs2? This is given as 150 and the torque T2 this is going to be 0 because it is a no load speed we have to find out right and the speed omega you have to find out. So how to do this problem? We can try to find this out using the expression of back EMF. What is back EMF? EB is equal to K phi omega ok. Now we do not know EB, we do not know K phi but K phi we can find out from this case 1. How? The torque is given T1 is equal to K phi into I A1 you can take armature current in the first case. Okay? So T1 we know we want to find K phi let us say then I1 is not known. Okay? But what we do know the back EMF EB1 is equal to 0 since the speed is 0 in case 1. So that means Vs1 will be equal to I A1 into R A. Okay, so we can find out the armature current. So I A1 is equal to V S1 is 100 divided by 0 0.05. This is going to come out as 2000 amperes. From here you can find K phi. Therefore, K phi is equal to T1 by I A1 which is equal to 500 by 2000. So this is going to be 1 by 4 let us say. Okay. Now EB is equal to K phi omega, we have found out K phi, we need to find EB2, right? EB2 is equal to K phi omega 2. Since it is a no load condition, torque will be 0, that means the current also will be 0. So when the current is 0, what will happen to the back EMF? It will equal the supply voltage. Okay? So this is going to be 150 volt. So now we know EB2, we know K5, we can find omega 2. So what will be omega 2? This is equal to EB2 by K5 which is 150 divided by 1 by 4. So this is going to be 600 radian per second. Next question we have, a separately excited DC generator has an armature resistance of 0.1 ohm and negligible armature inductance. At rated field current and rated rotor speed, its open circuit voltage is 200 volt. When this generator is operated at half the rated speed with half the rated field current, an uncharged 1000 microfarad capacitor is suddenly connected across the armature terminals. Assuming that the speed remains unchanged during the transient, at what time after the capacitor is connected will the voltage across it reach 25 volt? So this question is a very special question. It combines both machines and networks. All right. If you can just separate the two, you will realize that the problem is actually not very difficult. Okay. So first, like always, we will first write down the given information. It is a separately excited DC generator. 
So, you are going to have the armature current flowing out of the armature circuit and this is this is the terminal voltage and this is the field circuit. Now, what is the various information that is given? The armature resistance is given as 0.1 ohm and in case 1 the rated field current let us take it to be IFR and the rated rotor speed we will take as omega r. Okay. Now, in this case the open circuit voltage is 200 volt that is VT1 we will take this is IF1 and this also we will take as omega 1 is equal to omega r okay. and the terminal voltage is given as 200 volt and since it is given open circuit voltage this means that the armature current will be 0 right next in case 2 in case 2 what is happening the speed is half the rated speed half the rated speed and the field current is half the rated field current. So, I f 2 is equal to I f r by 2 and the speed is omega r by 2. Now, what is happening in case 2? The armature circuit is suddenly connected across a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Okay. Now, the motor circuit we will draw in terms of the armature resistance and back EMF. So, what is it going to be armature resistance R A and the back EMF will be in series to it. Okay. So, now this is connected to the capacitor. This constitutes the armature. Okay. But if you look at it, what is it? It is a simple R C circuit. And what is the required, what, what is it that we have to find out? After what time will the voltage across capacitor reach 25 volt? The question is what is the time at which the voltage across capacitor reaches 25 volt? So, it becomes a transient problem. Okay? Suddenly the load is connected. So, it is a step response. Eb will be the voltage. So, for a step response RC circuit, how we can find write down the equation, voltage equation across the capacitor? Vc is equal to the source voltage Eb into 1 minus e to the power minus T by tau. What is tau here? Tau is the time constant which is Ra into C. Okay? So, this we know anyways Ra is given as 0.1 and the capacitance is given as 1000 microfarad 10 power minus 6. So, this is going to come as 10 to the power minus 4 seconds. In order to find T, we need Ev. Ec is given as 25 volt. Right? So, Eb we can find from cases 1 and 2. Right? So, Eb1 by Eb2 is equal to phi1 into omega1 divided by phi 2 into omega 2. Since the flux is proportional to the field current, we can also write as I f 1 and I f 2. So, this we have written as I f 1 is the rated field current, speed is rated speed divided by half the rated field current into half the rated speed. Okay? So, this will give you E b 1 by E b 2 is equal to since case 1 is open circuit voltage is given here open circuit voltage you can write down here open circuit voltage. Okay. So, open circuit voltage will be nothing but the back EMF back EMF will be equal to the voltage. So, E B 1 will be equal to V T 1 which is equal to 200 volt. So, from here E B 2 will be 200 by 4 which is 50 volt. Okay. So, now you can use your capacitor voltage expression and you can easily find out 25 will be equal to 50 times 1 minus e to the power minus t by 10 to the power minus 4. Okay. If you solve for time then you are going to get 0.693 into 10 to the power minus 4 second or in terms of microseconds you can if you can write 
69.3 microsecond.